So this uh, video shows a pair of Trippe MUS100 uh, grinding machines. The first is the uh, sort of more traditional uh, model. Uh, it's slightly non-standard in that it's got um, a wider angle of operation. Uh, the um, work head end uh, has got uh, the facility to mount a Schoblin 102 headstock, but in this situation it's fitted with a 70mm uh, headstock uh, and a, a raising plate. Uh, the other machine uh, is uh, a bit of a one-off, I think. Uh, it's fitted on a uh, something an unusual base for, for this machine from Trip A, um, but it's, uh, on the actual sort of uh, bed has got a more typical um, MUS 100 uh, setup. Uh, in this particular situation, it's fitted with uh, the quill unit uh, that's driven from the motor behind, uh, and uh, it's then got uh, an AMI uh, hydraulically driven um, internal grinding uh, attachments, which uh, I'll try and show in a, another small video. Uh, going back to this original machine, uh, you can see underneath uh, the hydraulic uh, motor and the electric cabinet. Um, both machines, in fact, have got uh, the um, air apparatus on the side, uh, which drives uh, the AMI unit and also drives the air mist uh, facility, which you need to drive the spindles. I'll try and have in on that. That goes there and you can see it comes up and over into the unit at the rear of the spindle. So going back to, to this machine, this one is set up with uh, the area uh, hydraulically operated external grinding attachment. Um, the uh, workpiece here is held uh, and fixed in position with the overarm tailstock. There's a very nice um, sprung loaded clip to uh, centre red with a, not a light centre but a dead centre uh, and this very nice little flip over um, here for uh, trimming up the, uh, the grinding wheel. Uh, you can see here that on this machine this is the one I was saying it comes round further than uh, on the, uh, the new machine which I'll ju just pan over to now to show you the difference. Uh, both of these machines have um, the overhead drive unit. You can see on this one it's set up to drive uh, the area unit. Uh, on the other one uh, it's redundant at the moment but can obviously be used to drive the, the various accessories. Uh, on the older machine uh, this is also equipped with the, uh, with the donkey pump uh, at the back uh, for f coolant which can be rigged up so that it actually feeds directly uh, above the wheel. Um, with machines like this you pretty much need uh, various accessories so if I pan over here um, you can see that in the top drawer are all the various grinding wheels uh, and all of the paraphernalia which is necessary. If I close that um, underneath uh, are a variety of uh, accessories there's uh, another um, AMI unit guards, uh, a flip over diamond um, dresses, uh, the standard grinding head uh, that fits onto the machines, the steady and uh, various other bits and pieces. If I close that one in the bottom it's the Shogun 102 head that fits onto the machine that's equipped to do that. Uh, various other spindles that fit into the quill uh, and the vertical uh, slide that's um, pretty invaluable and a variety of, uh, of chucks. Uh, if I pan back over to the um, uh, new machine you can see that uh, on that one uh, the microscope holder is set up uh, and this is arranged so that you can basically move the carriage backwards and forwards without having to uh, reset everything up. The other interesting and more useful feature um, of both the um, AMI as in this case and the area units is that they can be flipped up um, out of the way to allow um, measurements to be taken of the of the workpiece uh, and then just replaced back into place uh, thus to put you back exactly where you were before. I'll now try and demonstrate the um, 
area uh, in operation. Uh, the first thing that needs to be done uh, is to set up the uh, stops uh, to make sure that you're grinding along the required length. So that's these two here. Uh, I've already done that to um, uh, show it uh, in operation on the piece that I've got here. So if I then turn on um, the actual hydraulic apparatus, uh, you can see that the um, spindle then starts going backwards and forwards um, until it hits the stops. The speed of the uh, unit is adjusted with uh, the knob here. So if I turn it right down, right up rather, you can see that it goes on quite quickly. Uh, and then if I adjust it right down, you can make it go really very slowly indeed. Um, then in terms of um, actually uh, operating, the first thing one needs to do is to um, come on here is to turn on the uh, oil mist uh, lubrication for uh, the spindle. So I will do that by turning on the air supply uh, and then uh, you can turn on uh, the main uh, overhead drive to the spindle unit. Um, and I'm not actually grinding at the moment, um, but this is exactly as it would be uh, in operation. Speed it up a little bit. try and demonstrate the uh, AMI, the internal grinding attachment in operation. It's essentially the same as the um, area with the fundamental difference being that um, the spindle is driven by uh, an air supply, which is this uh, coming in at the rear of the spindle. Uh, and I'll turn this on, um, you'll hear the, the whine from that, um, driving the, the air driven uh, spindle, which apparently rotates anything between 80 and 130,000 uh, RPM. Uh, so the first thing um, is I will just turn on the uh, the work head. Um, uh, so that's just driven from the motor at the back. Uh, the uh, main hydraulic can then be turned on to drive uh, the um, unit backwards and forwards. Um, as in the other one, the speed of this uh, can be changed quite significantly uh, with the knob on the top. So it can go really very slowly or it can go along at a uh, speed that's uh, really pretty, uh, pretty fast. And in terms of um, driving the, um, the main spindle, first thing uh, again is to turn on the uh, oil mist uh, lubrication which is uh, it's coming in on the, the top tube there. So I'll just turn that on. Um, uh, also turns on. Uh, the uh, part of the spindle, which you can hear why I'm there. If I just turn that off and turn it on again, you can see the, um, the spindle start up. 